Second grade. All right, so today we're working on completing the measure. So we've been learning about time signatures and we've been looking at the notes to decide what the time signature is. But today we're going to look at the time signature to decide what the notes should be. So first we're going to start with a super quick lightning speed note and rest review. So I'm going to say the note or rest name out loud and then you just tell me how many beats it gets. So we're going to start at the top row and go across and then do the bottom row and go across. So the first one is a whole rest and a whole rest gets a whole rest gets four beats. The next one is a double eighth note which we sometimes call TT and that gets how many beats? Gets one beat. All right, the last one on the top row is a half rest, and a half rest gets, half rest gets two beats. All right, bottom row. The first one is a quarter rest, and a quarter rest gets one beat. This is a half note, and a half note gets two beats, just like a half rest. All right, second to last one is a whole note, and a whole note gets, it gets four beats, just like a whole rest. And the last one is a quarter note, which gets how many beats? Quarter note gets just one beat. All right, so let's look at what we're going to be practicing this week. So you'll see this when you open your worksheet. You're going to have an example, and then you'll see a bunch of notes and a bunch of rests on the side that you'll be able to click on and move around um, where you want to put them. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the time signature, and then you have to fill in the measure to make sure that you have the right amount of beats. So this one, we look at the top no, top number and it says that we need four beats in each measure so let's look at this first measure the first measure has a half note half note gets two beats so you want to do two plus what equals four two plus two equals four so you can use any notes and any rests to make two beats so why don't we do a quarter note because that's one beat Two plus one is three, so we need one more. And why don't we do a quarter rest? That seems pretty good, right? So we have one, two, three, four. Great. All right, let's look at our second measure. We have a double eighth note, a quarter note, and a quarter rest. So let's see, we have one, two, three beats. So three plus what equals four? Three plus one equals four. So you can choose any note or any rest that gets one beat. So let's choose, let's be a little fancy. Let's have the double eighth note. How about that? That seems kind of cool. So we have one, two, three, four. Great. All right, this measure has a whole note. Now a whole note gets four beats, so we don't have to do anything to this measure. Now the last measure has a quarter note, which is only one beat. So one plus what equals four? One plus three equals four. So now we have to make three beats with any notes and any rests. So let's do a half rest, which gets two beats. So now we have one, two, three, and we need one more. Why don't we do a quarter note because why not we like that so we have one two three four look at that and we filled in all of our measures now if you feel like you want to try you can clap your rhythm that you've created afterwards after you've you know put all of the notes and made sure you have the right amounts now if this was three four and a three was in the top we would need three beats and if it was two four, we would need two beats. You always look at the top number to tell you how many beats in each measure. Alrighty. If you are, come on, there we go. If you are in Miss Hayward's class, this will be due on Monday, June 1st. And if you're in Mrs. Pence's class, it will be due Tuesday, June 2nd. If you have any questions at all, you can email me or you can look on my website and see if there's anything there that can help you out. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye, second grade.